Max stated at the at the last thing at the NRAO auditorium that there wouldn't be one more employee added. And you've stated in your letter and in your thing to the Pope and his Times that that's what this land is for, is for employees. Not one more employee. Now, the ex-commissioner, Mr. Carpenter, and Mr. Sheets, okay, were both there. And they heard the same thing I heard. Not one more employee, okay? And when I started this, when I first got involved in this, I didn't, I don't, didn't know anything about sewage. But I've learned a lot. And the people, if you look, you have over a hundred names now. And most of those are Green Bank residents. Those were door to door. But a lot of them, and a lot of them were laid in stores by Lau Tallman, myself, and my wife Becky. Door to door the last couple of days, getting those names. Over a hundred. Okay? These people live there. And what they're upset now about, it's not to stink. They're upset. No property tax. They think this is outrageous. They think no employees, more outrageous. And no money down except for the $50 a month per acre he's paying. These people are upset. 150 for three acres. Okay, it's $50 an acre. Okay, and no interest. Boy, this is outrageous for the people in Green Bank. Wow. Now, <laughs> the, uh, we the citizens of Pocahontas County, who you have signatures of right there, cannot believe that you are even considering doing this when you know it's the wrong location and not creating any new jobs and it's not good for the town of Green Bank. Um, Lyle Tallman. Thank you. <laughs> Lyle Tallman. I'm just going to read part of it. 